the robot has a webcam for its eyes, so it can look at the state of the game and figure out the moves you've played and what it has done. And the most important component, I think, is the, the AI or the planning behind it, which basically tries to figure out the strategy that you are playing and, first of all, try to defend itself and maybe try and beat you. I can see what it's trying to do. I can see exactly how I'm <laughs> going to lose as well. Oh, it won. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it won. It won. Where's the hammer? But it's hardly the kind of personal robot I've got in mind. OK. I mean, that, it, it is incredible. I mean, just seeing the strategy there, and it can see and, and knows where to put things. But how are we going to put all this together and then, and then create my ultimate, my ultimate robot? Yeah, I think, I think what you, we've seen today is that there are bits and pieces um, which are brilliant. But actually, what you need for um, something like a robot butler would be to, first of all, put all these things together into a very uh, fast, reactive, robust system. But on top of that, have the robot uh, give the robot the ability uh, to learn and adapt and change, just like you and me do. And this might be the answer. Although it doesn't look quite like I expected, this is the closest thing yet to a proper independent robot. This machine can drive, navigate and avoid obstacles, all without any human involvement. Okay, off we go. Very smooth. Sensing, planning and reacting, all critical for a real, independent, thinking robot. And they're all mastered by this vehicle. So just how intelligent is this thing? It's pretty good, you know. You can even tell its senses when you're going up a gradient. It's very... You can sense it being aware of where it is and the kind of terrain it's driving on. As we go down a... Whoa! Climbing. Let's see if it manages this pothole. Come on. I'm now rather disconcertingly heading towards two concrete objects in the middle of the road, but very cleverly, the car's spotted them and it's driving round them. Look at that, that's amazing. All I have to do is sort of sit here on board the, for a whole host of sensors. You might be able to see on the roof that thing spinning around, that's a, a LiDAR that sees the world using laser ranging. There's also radar on board, there's also various cameras, GPS. And all that information about the outside world gets thrown back to a big number-crunching computer in the back, which then makes the decisions, which then puts it all forward to the mechanical systems of the actual car. I've got a screen here that gives me all the information that's coming from the various sensors. I can, I can check the software is all running correctly, and the LiDAR is LiDARing. OK, we're going slightly off pace here. Whoa! Blimey, it really does have a mind of its own.